Hi, I'm Eva Mori Martino of Happily Eva After, and today I'm going to walk you guys through three really simple, really delicious hors d'oeuvres for your next cocktail party so you can serve your guests a little bite to eat alongside your delicious cocktails. I'll keep this glass of wine right near me. So we have a sweet and salty bacon wrapped date, which is going to be our hot hors d'oeuvre. It's insanely delicious. It's like criminal how yummy these things are. Our second one is going to be cucumber discs with smoked salmon and dill. These are really, really yummy little fish-based bites. Very fancy seeming too. And then our last one are going to be caprese skewers with a balsamic glaze. These are vegetarian, which is great for your vegetarian guests, and they're also so yummy. I don't know anybody who doesn't like a caprese salad. All right, so we're gonna start with our bacon wrap dates. I've already preset my oven to 350. You wanna make sure you have a little tray like this that has sides because you know the bacon causes a little bit of grease to come out. So what you're gonna do is slice these dates. I've already sliced them. You wanna make a little hole for your goat cheese. Here's our goat cheese right here. So you're just gonna go inside there and fill these up. Okay, so now that my dates are nice and stuffed, I'm gonna take a piece of bacon. Now I have just sliced a packet of bacon just right in half, so you want these pieces that are, I don't know, about five inches long. You're gonna take it and you're gonna wrap it around the date about one and a half times. And then you're gonna take your little toothpick and you're just gonna secure it right through the center of your date, like this. You're gonna put it on your little cookie tray. All right, and you're just gonna repeat this process with as many dates as you'd like. I will warn you, these go really quickly. So when you're making these, keep that in mind because these are delicious little suckers and uh, your guests are gonna eat them all before you even get to eat any. So you wanna make a little bit, a few extra for yourself and hide them, that's my special trick. There's nothing wrong with hiding food from your guests if you're gonna eat it yourself. Nothing worse than a hostess that's starving and wasted. <laughs> that's not a good look. Okay, so after we've wrapped them up, our very last step is that we are gonna take each little packet of date and we're gonna dip it in maple syrup. This makes it so yummy and caramelized, sweet and salty, it's so delicious. And these make your house smell incredible when they're cooking in the oven, so all your guests will want them even more, so you'll spend your entire time in the kitchen making these for everyone. <laughs> okay, so these are going to go in the oven for 15 minutes at 350, and after 15 minutes, you're gonna take them out and just rotate them like this on their sides so that you get a little bit more even caramelization as it's cooking. Here are our bacon wrapped dates, the sweet and salty little bites stuffed with goat cheese and covered in maple syrup that have already been cooking for 25 minutes. And you see them, they're so, so yummy. Look at this caramelization. It's, oh, it's like gooey and warm inside, sweet, and then the saltiness of the bacon and the maple syrup, it's just so, so, so good. So I'm gonna take these now, and I'm just gonna put them on my little hors d'oeuvre platter. All right, so now that our first hors d'oeuvre is out on our little board, we're gonna start with our second, which are our cucumber discs with smoked salmon and dill. Now this can be made without the goat cheese, or if you'd like to add the goat cheese, you can. Some people are lactose intolerant, can't have goat cheese, so this is a really good dairy-free option if you make it without goat cheese, which I will be showing you today. Just know you can always add goat cheese on top of the cucumber and under the salmon, kind of add a little bit more dimension to your treat. So we're just gonna cut these into little discs here. You're gonna line them up here Okay, and then you're just gonna take a little piece of salmon and you're gonna fold it over like this. You want it to be small enough that someone can eat it while they're having a conversation <laughs> in one bite and not be like, uh, please hold for 15 minutes while I finish chewing this. Um, but you do want it to be you know, obviously satisfying as a little hors d'oeuvre. So these are super easy, as you can tell, but really, really yummy. 
And like I was saying, you can always add some goat cheese. So I'm gonna show you on this one how we can add a little goat cheese to the disc first. All right, and then we're gonna put them like this. Here we go. Now here's the dill. And this is for um, flavor and garnish. So it looks super pretty on top. Just gonna add a few little sprinkles. Here we go, now this is finished. That was so easy, so quick. So we're gonna put these out on our little board right here. We're all done with this one. And we are going to make our caprese bites with balsamic glaze. So the only thing that's kind of um, specific in this is the balsamic glaze. You wanna make sure it's a glaze and not just vinegar because this is what, it's that sticky gooey-ness that's so yummy and it looks really pretty on the plate. All right, so we're gonna start by getting our little toothpicks. Here they are. You're gonna get your mozzarella balls. They have this in most grocery stores. And you're just gonna go ahead and cut them in half. These are such a crowd pleaser. Mozzarella, I feel like, is the one food that every single person on the planet will eat, <laughs> even children. This is a very good toddler food, by the way. Little balls of cheese. All right, you're gonna slice your tomatoes. Next, we're gonna take our basil, and you're just gonna tear this up, because we're gonna put this as a garnish on the top of our bite. Okay, so starting with the tomato, you're gonna put it face up like this, and go all the way here with your little bite. Okay, next we're gonna put a mozzarella piece, and next we're gonna put a little piece of basil, so it's all nestled in there. And then our final step, you want it to be able to stand up on your tray, so you're gonna have it face down like this with the cut side down. I'm gonna just put it right there. Cute. Okay, now that we have our little caprese salad bites all lined up, we're going to take our finishing touch, our balsamic glaze, and just kind of drizzle over the top. It's okay if it gets on your plate, it's part of the effect. That way, when people go to take their little bite, they can kind of dip it in the leftover glaze. It's so, so delicious. The best little treat. So there they are, your three delicious and super easy hors d'oeuvres to serve at your next cocktail party. This is the best sort of trio to have in your arsenal to make sure that you're really, really prepared the next time that you have guests over for a little drink. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the Happily Ever After YouTube channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Mm-hmm.